You've probably heard it or you've said it. I don't go to church because it's full of sinners. And to that I say you're right. But that's exactly why I go to church. The reality is we are all prodigals. In Luke chapter 15 and verse 1, Jesus had the tax collectors and the sinners coming to him in droves to hear him teach. But the Pharisees and the scribes are complaining, saying this man receives and he eats with sinners. But Jesus begins to tell them three different stories, and one of them is about an undeserving son. A son who's tired of the rules. He just wants to do what he wants to do. And so instead of waiting, he asks for his portion of the inheritance now. And his father gives it to him. And according to the story, he goes, he packs it all up, and he goes to a faraway country. And he begins to just live it up. He's having a good old time until the famine. A famine of resources. He wasted it all away in prodigal and sinful living. And a famine of food. He has nothing to eat. Money's gone. Friends are gone. Luxury, that's all gone. Food's gone. Dignity, that's definitely gone. He's a Jew living amongst the Gentiles, living amongst the pigs. There's no more of a degrading situation than that for a Jew. And so he's working for these pig owners, and he's feeding these pigs slop, but he's so hungry, he begins to contemplate filling his own belly with it. And in that moment, everything changed. In verse 17, it says that he came to himself. He finally came to his senses. And he began to realize that even the servants back home, they get paid and they have more than enough. But here he is wasting away in hunger. But he knows who he is. He knows what he's done. And he knows what he deserves. He's stinky. He's starving. And he's soaked with the slime of sin. And he knows he's not worthy to be called a son. And so he's going to go beg for the position of a servant. But when he got home, he got what he didn't deserve. He got mercy and compassion. He got embraced. He got sonship and even a celebration. The truth is, that's us. We've all gone our own way. We've done what we wanted to do. We've all been exceedingly reckless. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of our Father. And just like the prodigal son, we need to come to our senses. We need to see our need for grace and mercy and be willing to beg for it. We need to see our need for the great physician, Jesus Christ. And we need to come to the hospital that is full of people who are bandaged and bruised in need of healing. And that's the church. We're recovering sinners that have undeservably been given mercy and grace from their father. Music